The prehistory of Anatolia stretches from 1.2 million years ago through to the appearance of classical civilization in the middle of the first millennium BC. It is generally regarded as being divided into three ages reflecting the dominant materials used for the making of domestic implements and weapons. Stone Age, Bronze Age and Iron Age. The term Copper Age is used to denote the period straddling the Stone and Bronze Ages. Anatolia, known by the Latin name of Asia Minor, is considered to be the westernmost extent of Western Asia. Geographically it encompasses the central uplands of modern Turkey. From the coastal plain of the Aegean Sea east to the mountains on the Armenian border and from the narrow coast of the Black Sea south to the Taurus, mountains and Mediterranean coast. The earliest representations of culture in Anatolia can be found in several archaeological sites located in the central and eastern part of the region. Stone Age artifacts such as animal bones and food fossils were found at Berdur. Although the origins of some of the earliest peoples are shrouded in mystery, the remnants of Bronze Age civilizations such as the Hattian, Akkadian, Assyrian, and Hittite peoples provide us with many examples of the daily lives of its citizens and the trade. After the fall of the Hittites, the new states of Phrygia and Lydia stood strong on the western coast as Greek civilization began to flourish. Only the threat from a distant Persian kingdom prevented them from advancing past their peak of success. Stone Age The Stone Age is a prehistoric period in which stone was widely used in the manufacture of implements. This period occurred after the appearance of the genus Homo about 2.6 million years ago and roughly lasted 2.5 million years to the period between 4,500 and 2,000 BCE with the appearance of metalworking. Paleolithic in 2014, a stone tool was found in the Gedi's River that was securely dated to 1.2 million years ago. Evidence of Paleolithic habitation include the Yarenburgers Cave, Karain Cave, and the Okuzini, Beldibi and Belbasa, Kumbuk AG and Kadiini Caves in adjacent areas. Examples of Paleolithic humans can be found in the Museum of Anatolian Civilizations, in the Archaeological Museum in Antalya, and in other Turkish institutions. Evidence of fruit and of animal bones has been found at Yarenburgers. The caves of the Mediterranean region contain murals. Original claims of 250,000-year-old Middle Pleistocene. Homo sapiens footprints at Killer and Karain caves are now considered erroneous and have been revised to the late Pleistocene era. Mesolithic remains of a Mesolithic culture in Anatolia can be found along the Mediterranean coast and also in Thrace and the Western Black Sea area. Mesolithic remains have been located in the same caves as the Paleolithic artifacts and drawings. Additional findings come from the Sakli Magara Cave in Gaziantep, the Baradiz Cave, as well as the cemeteries and open-air settlements at Sogatalesi, Biris and Urfa. Neolithic because of its strategic location at the intersection of Asia and Europe, Anatolia has been the center of several civilizations since prehistoric times. Neolithic settlements include Katalhoyuk, Kayanu, Navali Kori, Asaklai Hoyuk, Bonkuklu Hoyuk Asala, Gobakli Tipa, Norse and Tepe, Kosk, and Mersin. Katalhoyuk is considered the most advanced of these, and Kayanu in the east the oldest. We have a good idea of the town layout at Kayanu, based on a central square with buildings constructed of stone and mud. Archaeological finds include farming tools that suggest both crops and animal husbandry as well as domestication of the dog. Religion is represented by figurines of Cybele, a mother goddess. Hassela followed Kayanu, and has been dated to 7040 BCE, Chalcolithic Age. Straddling the Neolithic and Early Bronze Age, the Chalcolithic era is defined by the first metal implements made with copper. This age is represented in Anatolia by sites at Hassela, Base Alton, Kanazan, Mersin Umuk Tepe, Alazig Tepeshik, Malachidagurm and Tepe, Norsen Tepe, and Istanbul Fikr Tepe. Bronze Age 
The Bronze Age is characterized by the use of copper and its tin alloy bronze, for manufacturing implements. Asia Minor was one of the first areas to develop bronze making. Early Bronze Age 3000-2500 BCE Although the first habitation appears to have occurred as early as the 6th millennium BC during the Chalcolithic period, functioning settlements trading with each other occurred during the 3rd millennium BC. A settlement on a high ridge would become known as Buyukaya, and later as the city of Hattush, the center of this civilization. Later, still, it would become the Hittite stronghold of Hattusha and is now Bogaskoy. Remnants of Hattian civilization have been found both under the lower city of Hattusha and in the higher areas of Buyukaya and Buyukal. Another settlement was established at Yarikaya, about two kilometers to the northeast. The discovery of mineral deposits in this part of Anatolia allowed the Anatolians to develop metallurgy, such as the implements found in the royal graves at Alakaho Yuk, about 25 kilometers from Bogaskoy, which it preceded, dating from 2400-2200 BC. Other Hattian centers include Hassam, Kanish, Purushanda, and Zalwa. During this time the Hattians engaged in trade with city-states such as those of Sumer, which needed timber products from the Amanus Mountains. Anatolia had remained in the prehistoric period until it entered the sphere of influence of the Akkadian Empire in the 24th century BC under Sargon, I, particularly in eastern Anatolia. However the Akkadian Empire suffered problematic climate changes in Mesopotamia, as well as a reduction in available manpower that affected trade. This led to its fall around 2150 BCE at the hands of the Gushans. The interest of the Akkadians in the region as far as it is known was for exporting various materials for manufacturing. Bronze metallurgy had spread to Anatolia from the Transcaucasian Karaxis culture in the late 4th millennium BCE, while Anatolia was well endowed with copper ores. There was no evidence of substantial workings of the tin required to make bronze in Bronze Age Anatolia. Middle Bronze Age 2500-2000 BCE at the origins of written history. The Anatolian plains inside the area ringed by the Kizilimic River were occupied by the first defined civilization in Anatolia, a non-Indo-European indigenous people named the Hattians. During the Middle Bronze Age, the Hattian civilization, including its capital of Hattush, continued to expand. The Anatolian Middle Bronze Age influenced the early Minoan culture of Crete as evidenced by archaeological findings at Knossos. Late Bronze Age 2000-1200 BCE Hattians The Hattians came into contact with Assyrian traders from ashore in Mesopotamia, such as at Kanish near modern cult Tepe who provided them with the tin needed to make bronze. These trading posts or Karams have lent their name to a period, the Karam period. These Karams represented separate residential areas where the traders lived, protected by the Hattites, and paying taxes in return. Meanwhile the fortifications of Hattush were strengthened with construction of royal residences on Buyukal. After the Assyrians overthrew their Gushans neighbors they claimed the local resources, notably silver, for themselves. However the Assyrians brought writing to Anatolia, a necessary tool for trading and business. These transactions were recorded in Akkadian cuneiform on clay tablets. Records found at Kanish use an advanced system of trading computations and credit lines. The records also indicate the names of the cities where the transaction occurred. Hittites The history of the Hittite civilization is known mostly from cuneiform texts found in the area of their empire, and from diplomatic and commercial correspondence found in various archives in Egypt and the Middle East. Old Kingdom Hattian civilization was also impacted by an invading Indo-European people, the Hittites, in the early 18th century BC, Hattush being burned to the ground in 1700 BC by King Anatar of Khazar after overthrowing King Piyushti. 
He then placed a curse on the site and set up his capital at Kanish 160 kilometers southeast. The Hittites absorbed the Hattians over the next century, a process that was essentially complete by 1650 BC. Eventually Hattusha became a Hittite center by the second half of the 17th century BC, and King Hattusili I moved his capital back to Hattusha from Nessa. The old Hittite Empire was at its height in the 16th century BCE, encompassing central Anatolia, northwestern Syria as far as Ugarit, and upper Mesopotamia. Kizuatna in southern Anatolia controlled the region separating the Hittite Empire from Syria, thereby greatly affecting trade routes. The peace was kept in accordance with both empires through treaties that established boundaries of control. Middle Kingdom following the reign of Telepinu the Hittite Kingdom entered a relatively weak and poorly documented phase, known as the Middle Kingdom, from the reign of Telepinu's son-in-law, Alu Wamna to that of Muwatali I. New Kingdom, King Tadalia I ushered in a new era of Hittite power, often referred to as the Hittite Empire. The kings took on a divine role in Hittite society and the Hittite peoples, often allied with neighbors such as the Kizuatna began to expand again, moving into western Anatolia, absorbing the Luwin state of Azawa and the Asuwa League. It was not until the reign of King Suppaluliamas that Kizuatna was taken over fully. Although the Hittites still preserved their cultural accomplishments in Kumani and Lazawantia, north of Cilicia, in the 13th century, after the reign of Hattusili III, Hittite power began to wane, threatened by Egypt to the south and Assyria to the east, effectively ending with Suppaluliama II. Syro-Hittite era after 1180s BCE, amid general turmoil in the Levant associated with the sudden arrival of the Sea Peoples, and the collapse of the Bronze Age the empire disintegrated into several independent Syro-Hittite city-states, some of which survived until as late as the 8th century BCE. In the west, Greeks were arriving on the Anatolian coast, and the Kaskas along the northern Black Sea coast. Eventually Hattusha itself was destroyed around 1200 BC and the Age of Empires shifted to that of regional states as the Bronze Age transitioned into the Iron Age. Mycenaean presence There is very little information about early Mycenaean presence in Anatolia. Millet was clearly a center of Mycenaean presence in Asia Minor in the period c. 1450-1100 BC, the zone of intense Mycenaean settlement extends as far as Bodrum, Halicarnassus. The Mycenaean sphere of influence in Asia Minor is also relatively restricted geographically. Intense Mycenaean settlement is to be found in the archaeological records only for the region between the peninsula of Halicarnassus in the south and Millet in the north. Atarsia was a 15th-14th century BCE military leader who was probably Greek. He conducted the first recorded Mycenaean military activity on the Anatolian mainland. His activities are recorded in the Hittite archives of circa 1400 BCE. British archaeologist J. M. Cook studied the Greek historical tradition about the Carians and drew attention to the many similarities between the Carians and the Mycenaeans. 